Hey guys, here's the critique demonstration that I promised you. I'm gonna teach you those four different ways and steps to critiquing an artwork. That's gonna be helpful in your process portfolio. Now this video is interactive, so pay attention. Um, at the end of me describing each of the four different steps, I'm gonna ask you to practice and just try to respond as best as you can um, to the artwork that I show you based on the prompts we will have time to review this together and get a sense for each step in our next class. So first, just try it on your own, and then we'll review it together at our next class period. Um, make sure you answer the questions because I will be checking to make sure that you are through with this. It will be especially helpful as we start thinking about making those process portfolio slides. So these are the first four steps. The first one is you need to describe, okay? I think we're really good at, at describing. The second is to analyze. Um, we've talked about these two things before. And then what's sort of new in this new um, way to analyze is you need to interpret the artwork and then also make a judgment about it. Now the order is super important because um, this whole analysis step like system is like the idea behind it is you need to describe it, analyze it and interpret something before you can make a judgment about an artwork. So a judgment as being, I like this artwork or I don't like this artwork. So let's go through criteria by cr criteria. The first one is describe. I think we're really good at this. It's basically you looking at an artwork and saying what you notice about it, okay? So let's say there's a painting of a landscape, like I notice that there's clouds, there's a blue sky, there's a mountain, there's a lake. Those would be things to notice or describe within an artwork. You don't need to get very specific. Um, noticing things like color might be helpful, um, but we're gonna step even further into talking about those specific things in the next um, step. But in addition to things like color and the lake and the mountains, it'd be important to also take note of the things like the title, the date that it was made, the materials that were used, and the artist's name. Because sometimes these can give us hints later into the meaning of the artwork and it would help us interpret it. So here's the artwork that I've chosen for you to try to describe. So I would make a list of the things that you notice, specific objects, where the location is. And then you, since like the artist and the titles listed below and the date, you don't need to take note of that. But I did not write down the materials. This is a lithograph, it's a colored lith lithograph. That might be helpful in the future. The second one is analyze. This is when you are paying very close attention to the principles and elements of art within the artwork and thinking about the relationship between things that you see. So the things that you've noticed, you're gonna take all those things and start to make connections and relationships. So in addition to that, you'd want to think about what's in the foreground, what's in the middle ground, what's in the background. Thinking about the arrangement of color would be helpful. Shapes or the placement of different objects within the artwork would be helpful. Maybe think about texture, different lines. You can just go through the list of the elements and principles that you know and try to analyze them. So thinking about the how different things interact with another would be um, the next step. So you're not just describing it, you're thinking about how these different elements interact. Good, so one example that I can give you, we can talk more about this, but you can think about color and I think that's especially helpful in this artwork because it is made with color, but 
the colors used to guide our eyes through different parts of the artwork. Most of the color is very bright. You can see that this room here is um, near the left side, so you can't see the mouse, is very yellow and green, and there's some reds. But as you move towards the right side, the colors tend to change, okay? Especially on the very right, you can see that there's a figure hidden behind the door, and it's a lot darker. It kind of draws our attention there. We might need to interpret that at the next step. And then we are also introduced to a new color, which is the doorway. So going into the room behind the door, there's like a new color there. Next up is interpret. So now that you've gathered and observed things, it's time for you to create a meaning from this artwork. Now, I would like you to create your own interpretation and really think about what you think this artwork means. I know it's easy to go and Google and find more information out about the artwork, but you need to try it yourself because I think that you'll learn more from looking at your observations and um, your analysis to make some sort of interpretation of the artwork. So that would be just like what I did before. We looked at the colors and how it went from light, right, to dark. Um, and we might start to notice something about the woman who's hiding behind the door. Like, what does that mean? What is she doing? What is the narrative behind this painting? So go ahead and take a few minutes to look at this artwork and then create some sort of interpretation or story behind this painting. It can be whatever you feel the narrative is, but you should back up your narrative with some um, points, some specific details that may lead you to this um, interpretation of this artwork. And the last one's super easy, it's judgment. So this is where you get to look at everything that you just wrote and decide if you like this artwork or not. So do you like it? Do you not like it? Why? Do you think it's successful? Do you think that it needs more work to be successful? Why? You don't need to spend a lot of time writing about this step, but that's the fun in art is you get to make some judgments and decide um, if it's worthy of you looking at it for a long time or if it's something that you just would pass by quickly. So take some time, finish up your responses, and I look forward to talking about these different answers in our next class.